we have our first look at images and how the ending of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 put a shocking twist on the ending of the film and set up a potential future and the return of the High Evolutionary. Man, talk about unexpected but a welcome reveal, so let's talk about these brand new images. Okay, so let's talk about this here. So we know, and it was confirmed by James Gunn, that the High Evolutionary survived, but they deleted some scenes that revealed this. Well, we have them here, and what we see is the brand new Guardians at the end of the film locking up the High Evolutionary, and we see him putting his face back on as the Guardians discuss what's going to be done with him, and obviously they're going to, well, keep him in a lockup till they figure that out. Now, once again, we kind of got hints toward this, and even at the end of Guardians 3, we see that they're carrying him out of the ship that's exploding, but they never reveal the fact that he survived. You have to really pay attention to it and listen to what James Gunn said. And here we see that he is in fact alive, he could still return, and now this could further set up his return in either Guardians 4, or maybe, if they decide to go that route, we don't know what the verdict is going to be on Jonathan Majors, but the theory that he could end up being this multiverse's Kang might honestly be able to be played into here. Now, I'm not saying I'm all up for that idea, but if that's their solution and they can do it, sure, let's see what they can pull off. To me, this is really significant because I think that they're smart by leaving villains alive now. That's one of the criticisms we had a lot during the first three phases. You knew the villain was going to die. So it was kind of like, okay, well, you know, um, there's no shock value here that they could come back. Like, they even killed Ultron, which I still don't believe he's dead, Ultron, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So I'm genuinely excited by this, and the fact that this is going to be making it onto the home release and everything, I think tells me that maybe there is intent here to eventually bring him back. And this kind of solidifies all those rumors and speculation and then the inevitable confirmation. And now they release it out there. So things are honestly looking good, I would say, for the return of the evolutionary.